I'll be showing how an educator can quickly create a beautiful staff homepage in SharePoint that can be used right with your staff team to give that staff team a nice homepage where everyone can collaborate. It just takes a few minutes and there are these education templates to use. So I'm here at lookbook.microsoft.com and I'm going to click this button here, see examples. There's a bunch of SharePoint examples. I'm going to click on schools and there's three options, school homepage, staff homepage, and class homepage. I'm going to click on staff homepage. That's the one we're going to do. Now here's the page and you can get a sense of what it looks like by default. It's going to take this template and apply it to the SharePoint site, which sits underneath a team. And so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click add your tenant. Now the email that I have is already here. I'm Kara. I'm signed in as the educator and it asks me for a site URL. So we're going to go to teams and get the site URL for that staff team site. So here I am in teams and there's a staff team called Pinecrest staff. I'll go into here. Now I'm going to go over on the right hand side to the dot, dot, dot menu, drop that down and choose open in SharePoint. Every team has a SharePoint site behind it. And this is one that is behind my Pinecrest staff team. I'll click here to go to the root site, click on the icon. So here's the plain Jane site and we're going to make this much prettier. If I go to the address bar here, I'm going to copy control C on this URL. We'll go back to that SharePoint lookbook page and it asks me for the site URL. I'll paste it right here and I'm going to click add to your site. So what it's going to do is apply this nice template to that boring old SharePoint site that we just saw. It gives me a little confirmation dialog. I'll click OK and confirm. Now it tells me provisioning has started and I'll get an email when my site is ready. OK, provisioning is in progress and it's completed. So here in Outlook, you'll see that it's sent to mail. I click it and it says my site is all ready and I'm going to open site. Here is my new staff homepage in SharePoint and a lot of great things. We'll walk through it and then I'll show how to edit and customize it. So there's some nice important links right here and these are some of the default in the template and you can change those. Place where you might want to sign up, put a form in here, highlights a PowerPoint deck. This is embedded. Here's my documents over here. This is interactive. It even has a little countdown. Maybe there's a conference coming up and this is a little countdown web part and you have staff news and announcements, even a team directory. So all of this was automatically created in a template. Now I'm going to show you how to edit this and make it your own. So the first thing you want to do is go to settings right here, this little gear and drop it down and we'll choose change the look. Let's just change the way that this looks. So I'll choose theme right here and I can choose a different color. So maybe I want to choose this color. It's really easy to pick a color. Ooh, that one's pretty bright. Now let's go with something that is a little more subtle. Here's a nice blue theme. So I go to the bottom and I click save and I'll close the gear here. Now we're going to edit the page itself. So I'm going to click the edit button right here and this puts the page into edit mode and I can edit these parts. They're called web parts in SharePoint. So if I click here, I can go and this little pencil lets me edit the web part. Click edit and now I get a bunch of choices. I could go compact mode. It changes the way it looks. Maybe grid mode, buttons. Maybe I'll choose tiles and I can make this small icons, medium. Maybe I'll do larger icons and then I'm going to go and say, you know, maybe I want to turn the text off or I could leave it on and I'll close this. I also have a calendar. So if I click on upcoming events, again, I get the pencil. This adds a calendar right to my staff homepage and I have a few choices. Maybe I could do film strip mode like this. I kind of like compact mode. You can choose how many items to show at one time. I could make this bigger or smaller and I have a few other options for my calendar. And again, what's nice is this calendar is automatically created right here on the homepage. In this case, I have an embedded PowerPoint deck and you could embed documents right here. Again, if I click here, I could edit the web part. I could put a different file in here. I could say, I don't want to start it on slide one. I want to start it on slide three, a lot of options. And then I have my staff documents right here. And these are things that are automatically put in as part of the template. And I could choose to remove some of these or add some of these. It's up to me. This web part's really nice. A lot of times staff might have an upcoming event or a conference in this case. And this is a nice little timer part. If I click here and I choose edit, this is a timer web part. And I have some options here where I can put the link. I can change the background image. I can use overlay, opacity, lots of different options. But the point is, this is a countdown part. Maybe I want to have this set for March 31st. There we go. 
and I'm going to click close. And now you see this is the countdown and it's changed. Another nice one is this staff news and announcements. This is really common. Now, in this case, I want to edit this and choose the layout and I'll click edit again. Now, there's a couple options. I've got list. I've got side by side. I kind of like top story where it has one of the items here and then others here. Down here, I can show the number of views, show who the author is, show the compact view if I want. So a lot of little options to change your news parts. And I'll click close. Now, maybe in this case, I want to move the news part up higher. I want to have it up at the top of the page. So if I click and drag, I can drag this web part all the way up to the top. And I'm going to leave it right here. Now my staff news and announcements are the first things that someone sees. And it's very easy to add a new announcement or an item right into the web page. At the bottom, you've got a team directory. And this just shows a lot of the people who are in your staff. The other nice thing is the ability to add web parts. So if I click plus, there's a whole set of SharePoint web parts that you can add in here. I'm not going to go over every single one, but a nice one is stream. So in this case, I could add a stream or a YouTube web part. I'll choose stream. Now it automatically brought in all the videos that I have in stream, but I could also sort and say, maybe I want a channel or maybe I want a single video and you can paste the URL for a channel or a video right here. I'll leave it to say all of stream. And now I've got my video list right here and I'll close this. Now I'll go back up to the top. I've made some changes. I made a few small updates. I'm going to hit republish and this will republish my new looking page. There we go. It has my changes. I have my calendar. I have my links. Now this page looks really nice. It looks like I probably spent a lot of time on it and I just spent a few minutes. Now we want to take this page and put it as a home page in my team. So I'm going to go to the top right here and select this URL and click control C to copy. Now I'm going to switch back to my team. Here's my staff team. I'll click plus and we'll add a tab. I'll select website and we'll say staff homepage and I'll click URL and paste and I'll hit save. Here's my staff homepage. It looks really nice. I've got my staff updates and announcements. I have my calendar. I can add a new event right there. There's important links, sign up for the training, all sorts of the parts that we talked about. And it's right here in your team along with everything else. So in just a few minutes, you have a really great staff page that everyone can collaborate and work on. The final thing is that you might want to delete some of these pages at the end. These are template pages. So I'll make sure to show you where these are stored in case you want to go and delete them. I go back up to the gear icon right here in the upper right. I click it and I choose site contents. Now right at the bottom here is site pages. If I go into here, you'll see a set of those different pages around right here, lesson plan templates, report templates. You could delete those or modify those. And there's some other things in that site pages category that you can go and get rid of. So if you want to clean some of these things up or you want to edit them, that's a place to go. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.